Today on Ridge Roamer, we're going to take a look at the Harley-Davidson X350 and why it will be rejected by motorcyclists in the United States. Harley-Davidson is America's largest motorcycle manufacturer. They build big, heavy, underpowered, overly expensive motorcycles and have a huge cult following of buyers lined up to buy them. Thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 plus surcharges, fees, etc. No problem. Deep-pocketed diehards will stroke a check and starry-eyed fanboys will sign their lives away with a 108-month payment plan. Those of us looking for value of more bike at a lower cost look to other brands. But Harley-Davidson again has the bright idea to bring a new small displacement motorcycle to the United States. So let's talk about their upcoming folly. First, this is not a Harley-Davidson. It's a QJ Chinese motorcycle with Harley stickers, and they aren't even trying to hide that. So any Harley diehard fans will immediately write it off. Harley has succeeded in the U.S. market by catering to the patriotic, willing to shell out more money for an all-American machine. This X350 goes completely against that mentality, and the fact that Harley would even try to sell it alongside their large displacement American V-Twins will be a slap in the face to loyalists walking through Harley dealership doors. Second, Harley has tried this before, multiple times, failed, and somehow still hasn't learned. Remember the Harley-Davidson Street 500? They tried for six years to sell this U.S. and India-built machine in the American market and ultimately canceled it just a few years ago. At least it was a V-twin, but with the Harley brand surcharge pushing this little cruiser up to the $10,000 mark, what did they expect? How about the Buell Blast? Remember that one? Going back even further, the Harley Sprint and other Aromaki models. Has Harley ever done well with small displacement bikes? No, and they need to quit trying. Third, it's a safety course bike. I get it, Harley needs a motorcycle to use at their Road Academy rider training courses, and this will fit the bill great for that. However, once you graduate from the weekend class, no one wants to stay on a learner bike for very long. How many Kawasaki Eliminator 125s or Rebel 250s do you see on the road? Not many. People move away quickly from these bikes, and one of the primary reasons is U.S. roads are not friendly to small displacement motorcycles. Unless you live in a city and don't venture out onto higher speed roadways, these little bikes typically aren't sufficient. The streets of Delhi and the streets of Dallas are significantly different. Fourth, as I mentioned before, nothing can run through the Harley-Davidson sales funnel without being overinflated in price. Bikes, parts, apparel, all subject to massive surcharges because they have the Harley bar and shield, and this will be no different. The Benelli version of this bike, or close to it, sells for about $4,900. Official X350 pricing has not been released yet, but there's no way it's going to be less than $59.99. Likely it will be $6,000 something with the inflated Harley fees. So anyone looking for a small displacement motorcycle such as this will be looking elsewhere to maximize the bike they get for their money. Japanese manufacturers offer tremendous bang for the buck that this bike just won't offer. And people looking for cheap Chinese products will just stick to lower-priced Chinese brands without the Harley emblem. Fifth, and this one's meant to have a little fun, even at $6,000, that's way too many horsepower per dollar for Harley consumers. This little 350 makes about 36 horsepower, so at an estimated $6,000 sales price, that's $167 per horsepower. The gold standard 2023 CVO Road Glide costs $52,000 and makes 102 horsepower, making it $510 per horsepower. That's the kind of underperforming, excessively priced machines Harley loyalists prefer. Now let me know your thoughts. If you plan on buying one of these when they arrive, let me know why in the heck you would even consider it. If you agree with me, I want to know that too, and if you have a better alternative, please let everyone know. 
As always, thanks for watching, ride safe, hit that subscribe button, and check out some of my other videos. Thank you.